uh, which we were turning left. Uh, we signaled one. left, yeah. But you didn't check at all. Right. You were just looking that way. I didn't notice that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome to another video. And today we have another mock driving test. Uh, guys, before we get started, any of you that are learning to drive, um, here's a 30 second clip. Um, telling you about the ultimate driving course. If you've already seen it, or you're not a learner driver, just skip the next 30 seconds. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're gonna do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand, precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the maneuvers and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic, then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so um, today's learner driver is Alfie. Hi. Yep. So, Alfie, could you tell us a bit about your driving, please? Uh, so, I started about end of January. I've done about 30 hours of lessons. Okay. Um, and I practice quite a lot with my grandparents and my sister, so I get quite a lot of practice in. Cool. And uh, Alfie's told me he's got his test coming up very soon. And uh, for those of you who are watching for the first time, guys, um, Alfie hasn't had any lessons with me before. He's just here for me to assess his driving to find out, find out whether he's ready for his test or not. Yeah. And any of you that are interested in taking a mock test, all you need to do is drop us a message on Instagram at DJ and Driving, and we just select people randomly. So, um, Alfie, um, is there anything, any parts of your driving which you feel that you're not 100 percent with, or you don't like doing? Not particularly. I guess I just need to just make sure I'm checking all my mirrors. Just okay. constantly, so that's the thing I'm going to work on today. Cool. You know how the tests work, uh, these mock tests work, yeah? Yeah. Um, if you do make a mistake, I won't say anything, okay. um, but for those of you guys, those of you guys who are watching, um, any faults that Alfie does make or any good points, I will talk about them just before they happen, yeah? And we'll talk about it at the end of the test, okay. yeah? Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to start off by following the sat-nav. Um, the show me, tell me questions, have you done those? I've, yeah, I've done those. I went through them yesterday. I'm not sure if I can remember them all, though. But. Okay, so let's test you. Um, so could you tell me how you would check your headlights and taillights are working before starting a journey? Um, I'd switch them on, I'd look at see if the lights are coming on in the dashboard and then I would um, either get out and check or I'd look for the reflections. Good, it's so normally the get out and check, yeah. yeah. Okay, well done, that's fine. And whenever you're ready Alfie, if you can move off please. At the end of the road, turn right. One of the most common reasons for failing a driving test is poor observations and judgement when emerging out at a junction like this one that's coming up. Alfie approaches well and carries out good observations before emerging out. At the start of the test, Alfie did say that he thinks he needs to improve on his mirror checks. But here he checks the mirrors really well before and after overtaking these parked vehicles. He also keeps a safe gap when passing. safe on the left please. He parks up well in a safe place using the MSM routine correctly. Thank you and move off when you're ready. When moving off it's best to prepare the vehicle first and only release the handbrake once it's safe to move off. Alfie has a habit of releasing the handbrake first which isn't a fault as long as you keep control of the vehicle but as soon as he comes off the foot brake a vehicle rolls back slightly. Turn left. This is a steep uphill junction at which Alfie shows really good control. 
He approaches well by selecting face gear at the right time and doesn't roll back. There is a van parked on our side of the road, so in this situation, the oncoming vehicles have priority. Alfie shows good awareness and holds back in a good position. After overtaking these vehicles, he decides to signal left. There was no need for this signal, especially as there was a vehicle waiting to emerge out onto the main road. The driver of that vehicle could have assumed that we were turning left and then pulled out. When passing these parked vehicles, he gets slightly too close. The speed limit changes from 30 to 20 miles per hour. Alfie notices this and drives at the appropriate speed. Again, he gets slightly too close to these parked vehicles. So far, Alfie is doing quite well. Not much for me to do, so time for a quick nap. We are turning left into a very narrow road. Alfie should have taken this turn a lot slower than he did. Our back tyre goes onto the pavement. The reason this wasn't a serious driving fault is because there were no pedestrians on the path. Turn left. Now this is where Alfie makes his first serious driving fault and doesn't look. Go left on the roundabout, second exit, then bear left. We're turning left at the roundabout. As he approaches, Alfie does everything well, apart from looking to see if it's safe to enter. This could have been dangerous if there was a vehicle approaching. And because he had been driving quite well, I couldn't believe he just made that mistake. And at this roundabout, if you could go straight ahead, please. This time at this roundabout, Alfie does look to the right, but is about to enter when there is a vehicle approaching. I had to intervene. Do you recognize this roundabout? I think Alfie realises he's messed up. Okay, we've got two roundabouts coming up close together. Right. The first one goes straight ahead, second exit. Yep. Then the following roundabout turn right, third exit. So straight ahead, second exit, then right, third exit. And now Alfie shows us that he does actually know how to deal with the roundabouts and does these two roundabouts really well.
Now we're going to finish off with a forward bay parking maneuver. And once we enter the car park, if you could park forward into any bay on the right, please. Before slowing down and turning into the bay, it's important to check the mirrors and then signal if necessary. Alfie does this well. He's not positioned in between the bay lines, so decides to readjust. When readjusting, it's important to carry out good observations, and Alfie checks well. And if you could uh, reverse out, please. I'm gonna drive that way, yeah? No, yeah. yeah. He reverses out well, again, carrying out good observations. That's fine, you can leave it there, don't worry about yeah. being inside. Yeah, that's fine, we're gonna end the test here now. Now we're going to end the test here. Let's find out what Alfie thought about his driving. Okay, so that's the end of the test. Okay. How do you think you did? Not the best I could have done. You passed or failed? Better with that one. On what? The roundabout. Yeah, do you know what happened? Yeah, I went, I tried to go and then there was a car coming. Yeah, yeah. Did you think that car was taking the other exit? Is that what it was supposed to be? Is that what it indicated to do? Sorry? Is that what it indicated to do? Because I couldn't, I got confused with that bit. No, so there, there was a vehicle coming towards us. Right. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to know the reason why you, you, obviously you saw the vehicle, didn't you? Yeah. Did you think he was going to go I that way? I thought he was coming off. So oh, then I was okay, coming okay, that okay, way. Okay, cause... okay, Yeah, but he wasn't, yeah. was he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, that, that was it. There's one more before that. Oh, right, okay. I'm not sure if you noticed that one, yeah. So, you're doing really well. I was like thinking, okay, we've got another pass here. Right. Yeah, you're driving really well, showing uh, good awareness with, uh, with everything. Your mirrors were good. Uh, your control on the hills was good, okay. yeah. You had a couple of slight roll um, rollbacks. It's just because instead of using the handbrake, um, you were using your foot brake, you know, and you're moving off as well. Okay. Um, you're putting the handbrake down first before getting the biting point in that. Right. Okay. So um, that was the reason for uh, for the roll. What happened there on the maneuver as well. Okay. Um, so we do really well. Even that that road that turned from 30 to 20. Yeah. Do you remember that road? There were 20 signs. You noticed it brilliantly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, slowed yeah. down. We got to the yeah. end of the end of the road. It was kind of a blur. Um, it, it was a blind junction, yeah, where we couldn't see much. You did that well as well, okay. yeah. And then as soon as you turned out, there was a roundabout at which we were turning left. Oh, you signaled left, yeah, but you didn't check at all. Right. You were just looking that way. I didn't notice that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So you understand how dangerous that can yeah. be. And all the other roundabouts, you, um, obviously apart from the one where you made yeah. that mistake, yeah. Uh, but you were looking uh, to the right. Okay. But on, on that roundabout, you just didn't look. Right. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm not sure where that happened. Okay, but well, right. you understand why that can okay. be very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, um, and uh, I think uh, the only other thing that you could work on is um, sometimes you know your clearance from the parked cars. Right. Just getting a 
just a touch too close. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, it wasn't if you were driving at 30 miles an hour and that close. If your speed was any higher, then that would have been a serious yeah. Okay. Okay, it wasn't that close. Um, the, the reason why you get away, got away with it, because our speed wasn't that fast. Okay. Yeah, and it wasn't that, that close where we were about to clip the wing mirrors yeah. or anything, but just just, just be uh, be aware of that, okay. yeah. All okay. Right. Um, other than that, it was all it was all good. So I got work on looking at roundabouts then. It just the uh, yeah <laughs> just the uh, yeah it was just uh, two roundabouts. Just your observations okay. on there. Okay. Yeah, and like I said, that clearance just just to right. work on that a bit. Yeah, because it's so easy if you're about maybe that much more closer, that could easy, easily turn into a serious fault. Okay. Okay. But um, yeah, overall, uh, me I personally think you'll have no no issues passing your driving test. Okay. Thank okay. You. Um, any questions? Nothing. That's it. Good. Uh, Alfie, thank, thank you yes, very much. Thank for, you. Thank you very much for coming down to do the mock test. Yeah. Right. And guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.